Yes. Yes. Just start recording. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you found it. I, I didn't think. Start recording. I'm not recording. So this is the last we do. It. We're, 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 we've been thanking everyone. We've been gra showing gratitude uh, for all of the people but that are here. I have. But it wasn't oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I want to just thank Doug for being here. Doug has been, he's a massage therapist in, in uh, Albuquerque and in Los Angeles as well. And uh, he has an expert hand, an expert elbow. And um, I have been blessed to have him in my life to help and to trade massages with. Yes, and and he um, says That's Doug. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> true. I, I, I went down the line. I'll just do it really quickly because Kathleen, I'm, we're thanking Kathleen for being here and joining us in this Samadhi game uh, retreat of eight days for coming and being brave enough to you know buy that plane ticket and to see the value in Samadhi game and to come here and spend the week with us and say, let's make Samadhi game work. Yeah. And then to follow the path and to, to do the mantras with us without you know uh, resistance um, it's it's phenomenal and, I, and I, my hats off to you for coming I think uh, there'll be many other people that follow you in the wake of what you've done we want uh, we've seen already many people online that have come and uh, said that they would have been here if they didn't have other commitments maybe next time we have this this eight days of Samadhi there will be um, more of an effort to remove themselves from their prior commitments oh this the coyotes and that's an affirmation the coyotes are the coyotes are singing right you know probably 20 feet out the back door so um so uh and and while kathleen while kathleen was here um kathleen has a an affinity for deer and uh, while she was here uh we i've seen deer once or twice here over the last five years that i've been here and um La just yesterday, uh, two deers right came right down yeah, to the right fountain. Well, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for being here. Uh, we appreciate you, and I, I hope that it was as valuable for you as it was for us to have you here. Nathan has come to uh, several of our Samadhi Game broadcasts. This is the first one in on probably in over a year that we. Well, he was here. He was here in the fall. He he joined us for um, he joined us for uh, the uh, September Eight Days of Samadhi broadcast that we did, and was a valuable valuable ad addition. And Nathan, Nathan will be here tomorrow morning for the broadcast. He's going to be our special guest, uh, and we'll do that broadcast a little bit early tomorrow. We'll be do starting at 8 o'clock rather than 8.30 because uh, we'd like to end at about 9, 9 or 9.10 so we can get Kathleen to the uh, airport on time tomorrow. And so, um, Nathan, thank you for your support. Nathan is a transformationalist. He specializes in transforming consciousness within people. And, uh, and works as his own practice here in Albuquerque out of the Holistic Center and um, just is magnificent. So if you happen to be in town, look Nathan up and, and ask him for a, a, a session. He'll That's the show yesterday. We had yeah. a session every day. I'll let him tell all that material tomorrow. 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 You know, tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow for the specifics on Nathan Maine. He's the main transformationalist man. And then Barbara, again, as I said, she's like a concierge. She has led us all over Albuquerque and New Mexico, giving us uh, wonderful events to attend to. And um, I just lean to her, and she knows it, and she it lets me. And I'm really grateful for that because she's, uh, she's become a very good friend of mine. And 
we danced last year. Dance. We danced this. We, s we danced this week, and uh, uh, all that fun and glory. And um, thank you for opening up your home to us, and everything that you've done, the food, the drink, everything that you've brought to us and with us. We're so grateful for it all. Um, and then Shandell and Shalom, who came tonight for the first time in probably over a year. It, it, you can try and see, yes, and see what happens. Just slide it up a little bit. Uh, it, I'm not sure it will. Okay. So um, I just want to thank you for coming tonight, being brave enough to come after um, over a year of absence and to see, you know, what's going on at Sunny Mellow and what's going on with Gregory Brinkley. Uh, I, I'm grateful because I've always loved you and, and Shalom both. And, and uh, together we... We've done uh, a lot of beautiful uh, inner work. So um, thank you for being here tonight. And for this, almost the closing night, or actually tomorrow morning is the closing day, but uh, tonight is like um, the, the biggest event we're having. It's the... Um, what's that? What's on headphone set? I can see that it is registering. Uh, at, you might ask them, you might type them and ask them if uh, they can hear anything. Because if they can hear something, then that would be good. And I think you need to sit on the other side. The camera can see over this direction as well. Okay. All right, then. So, um, so with that, tonight is this building of the, this momentum that we've been through all week long. And we have gone through our initiations, those who have been, us, been with us all the time. Those who have been here some of the time have ga gathered some of the momentum. And tonight you'll gather a little bit of that momentum that we have all, that we have all um, been a part of. And, and the guests online, Lisa has been joining us, thank you, almost at least 50% of the times, maybe 75% of the times. And I want to thank Lisa online and those others that have been joining in as well. I've seen several names which I can't Jamie. remember. Jamie's come a few times um, online. There's a few others that have come. And uh, that momentum is broadcast online as much as it is here. If you join in to these broadcasts and you join in to the mantras, you are getting the benefit of that momentum. Uh, the spiritual path doesn't just happen. It doesn't just happen. And psychological approaches to spiritual development are rather shallow in my estimation because the, the, the soul is what we're after here. We're after this solar effulgence. And that takes culturing, just like you culture a garden. And so if you can find yourself having a path of enlightenment that has a specific structure to it that takes you to your core, follow it whatever that is. Samadhi gain is a path if you would like to take it up where you can take up the mantras on a daily basis and say a few mantras, even if it's just a few affirmations of who you really are. Because in this dual human ego world that we live in, the cross currents of that dual human ego are so, uh, so stunning that we don't, we get the, the actual impetus of the neutral witness or the Christ consciousness within us gets diluted out and overwhelmed by this cross current. It's like trying to swim across the Colorado River. Yeah. You know, you, you have to, you have to, it's a strong current and in order to overcome it, you have to develop a momentum of light and a momentum of understanding the neutral witness such that you can overcome that. It is possible. It already is strong enough to do that. We just have to realize it. The momentum doesn't come in developing the, the momentum of the Christ. It comes in developing the realization of the Christ, this, this neutral witness. The more we realize it, it's always there. The more it ha can swim across the river of those cross currents of the dual human ego and create art and healing in its wake. Using the dual human ego specifically, beautifully, intelligently, with the highest intelligence, to bring healing and creating art that's passionate and full of glory. So that's what Samadhi Game is about. And in essence, in a nutshell, 
that's what we've been doing all week. We've been really pushing the envelope. This morning, I was going to say, when we did the, the mantras, I really felt the actualization within my own being. I felt the actualization of those mantras much, much more so than I did when we first started a week ago because we had, we had really um, we had pushed it. We had pressurized the consciousness. The consciousness doesn't move towards enlightenment naturally. Well, it does, but it doesn't because of the weight of the, of the, the human mass consciousness, and it has to be cultured. And so here we are, the last evening. And I'd like tonight, what our plans are, are to do a little bit of meditation, a little bit of mantra, have a barbecue. And we have vegetarian and we have buff, you know, organically grown buffalo for those of you who eat meat. And we'll have corn and we'll have desserts and we'll have all sorts of beautiful feast that's laid out before us simply because a few people came together and brought energy to this. And... Um, and and then afterwards, if, if everyone's still feeling up for it, we'll have put on a little music and we can we can give glory by moving our bodies to the mu music and dance a little bit, have a little bit of fun that way. So um, for those who can stay a little bit later. So I'd like to start with a few mantras. And these are the mantras that, let me just, uh, let me just warn everyone too. Um, we've been having a little trouble with the circuit in here. Uh, Oh, okay, it, I can see that it is, but it's very low. Um, so I will just talk a little bit louder. Uh, the circuit breaker may break only because, um, only because, no, just leave that on because it, we need to have the light. But the circuit may break um, because we have so much juice running with the computers, the television, and all of that. And sometimes when we start to do mantras, it increases the energy again, the field becomes potent and then the circuit breakers break. So we're going to go into uh, this open source code of enlightenment, which is the manifesto of enlightenment that Samadhi game is. And we'll give some mantras. Do we need to yes, I need you to take us to the first mantra in the book, which is the shadowless light of eternity. And we will give this mantra, the shadowless light of Samadhi, its feeling, tone, and state of knowing. <laughs> together. So we can say, as we say this together, we'll develop this momentum. Okay, I'm still moving it up. I, I'm moving it here, but you'll have to move it there. Oh. For them, yes. Yes, okay. Because this, this is not broadcasting, but that is. O oh, glorious, shadowless light of eternity, that brilliance of I am Samadhi, shining, shining in the void is found a thousand suns, descend, 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 desc
O oh, presence of a shadowless light from out the great silence, we identify with thee now. I am the elation and exhilaration, freedom and liberation of this eternal experience and gnosis of samadhi, its ecstatic hearing, blissful feeling, cosmic scent, sublime taste, and immaculate vision, holding all safely within that compassionate diamond heart forever. I intensify this feeling tone of I am shadowless light in acknowledgement, acceptance, and awareness, surrender, devotion, and adoration for this state of knowing that this all-pervading I am samadhi, the intelligence of the heart that is divine illumination. I and now, this is that time where we can say a name for ourselves which is a little bit bigger than the name that we've been saying for ourselves for today, maybe yesterday, maybe for the last year, maybe for the last embodiment. We've been saying Gregory Brinkley. But it's bigger than that. We have an essence that's as big as Jesus Christ. That's as big as Lord Krishna. That's as big as Lord Buddha who sits before us and speaks his mantras of eternity. And so we can say names for ourselves which bring us to that state. So let's go ahead and make up a name. How would you what name would you make up for yourself? Barbara, what's your name? The island goddess of divine order. Doug, what's your name? Uh, <coughs> uh, an ascending star. Ascending star. Yeah. Nathan. Sir Gratitude. Sir Gratitude. Oh, Robbie. Gregory, the ascended. The ascended. Ma oh, Chandel. Yes, you do. Yeah, th this is what we have to do. We have to know this. Angelic mother. Chandel, angelic mother. Can we help you? Is that okay? Okay. So pick your favorite thing to do. Do your own. If you, if you would like. Okay. <coughs> there you go. Someone who sees. The Ascended Master Gregory Donald Binkley, Living Super Yogi Brilliance. I like that. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> Expansion of masterful Samadhi game tribe through my consciousness, my voice today. And then we'll just say, Am awake as is the Ascended Master Jesus to this, or whoever, to this shadowless light, its feeling, tone, and state of knowing. That I am that never sleeps and enjoys all, now and forever. So we give these mantras, and as we give them, you can feel as though, well, we're just saying the words, or you can actually feel, oh, that's true. That's really true. Oh, my God. That's true. Let me just go back. Um, I, oh, yeah, I am intensifying this feeling tone of I am shadowless light as I am in acknowledgement, acceptance, and awareness, surrender, devotion, and adoration. God, that's so true. And there's this little um, fairy tale in here as well that I like very much. <clears throat> now, pure love flows forth from the heart of the secret love star, drenching the earth with the glory and ecstasy of 
golden pink, liquid light. Oh, yes. It sounds like a fairy tale, but it's real. It's definitely real. That's what's happening right now. It's not happening in another time. It's not, we're not waiting for it to happen. But this pure love is flowing forth from the heart of the secret love star. Have you ever heard of the secret oh, yeah. love star? No. It's a great star. Big Man Bear was in the secret love star, right? Yeah. Yes. And, and yeah. then it came over here like this is our real earth true star. And it disappeared. And look, it's going to come again next year. It's a beautiful, beautiful yeah. star. Right now. I thought it was just one. <laughs> and that love that pours out of that star drenches the earth with the glory and ecstasy of golden pink liquid light. Isn't that beautiful? Golden pink liquid light? Can you imagine that? That's so great. That is the fairy tale that is happening now. It's happening now. So these mantras become real as you give them more and more, over and over, and allow them to be real. Why should we not? We allow all sorts of things in our worlds to be real. All sorts of things. Why not, they have to be real? Why not accept something that's glorious and beautiful for yourself? Why not live happily ever after? Mm -hmm. Why not live abundantly? Jesus Christ even said it. I am come that ye might have life and that more abundantly. He didn't come and say, well, take up my teachings and then live normal lives. If you take up my teaching, you'll just, well, you can go back to work in the footstool kingdom. Do you really think Jesus would say that? Working for someone else and hiding your light under a bushel? You don't want to, you don't want to cause any uproars. Please, please, don't cause any turmoil in the world. Don't share your real self with anyone. Do you think Jesus would say that? No! Absolutely. He would not. He would say, live your gift gone. Live fully. Live your great name now. Don't wait. Don't let this life pass you by living ordinary. Live extraordinary. And what we have to always look for is the strength of God. It doesn't mean Santa Claus is going to you know, have some hand and you know, first part of the way through it. Santa Claus claustrophobic means you're, you're afraid of being closed. Closed. So Santa is a saint of closeness. You have to, Santa Claus is a Christian saying, you stay close to your family. And, and as, as the, the naughty child, you're a close family. Stay close to those who really need you. Yes, because, and the reason that that's necessary is because if you don't stay close, well, the dual human ego will grab and hold and pull away that light which you're garnering. But if you're staying close to people that you are, are of like mind, in the Samadhi game tribe, that is, or it could be any light being, then you will be lifted up. You will be held in great steed. A great master, Yogananda, said that the company you keep is stronger than your individual will. I believe that. So as we keep good company, as we stay close with each other, as we conver con converse with each other and share the, the passion that we have for the enlightened state in humor and in seriousness, all of it, that we'll, we'll make headway on the path much more than if we stay independent and separate. I'd like to take us to another mantra. Let's do the opening pillar of light, the pillar of the world. Yes, we did. We finished it. So let's go ahead and go to opening pillar of light, the pillar of the world, and we'll give this mantra, which establishes about us, round about us, strength. This idea of light about us. It's so strong. Rather than 
just this little teeny thin shield of light that some people have when you you go through the when the uh, when you first come into the doctor's office and uh, the Chinese doctor they can feel they can say oh your Wei Qi is very low they can feel your pulse and your Qi is low and they can see your eyes and they can look at your tongue and they go oh your Qi is low and some people who can feel energy can feel and say oh your Qi is low well by saying these mantras your Qi gets high gets sparked so let's say this mantra, the opening pillar of light, the pillar of the world. Together, sublime I am, Samadhi that I am, enfolding me now in that mighty, magic, electronic pillar of cosmic light substance. My identification with its magnificent humility and thoughtful creativity, so powerful and complete, that I artfully and magically alter every polarity with healing unity, Pillar of light blazes that love as the violet compassionate flame in through and around my etheric, mental, emotional, and physical bodies, dissolving, consuming, transmuting, and reconciling. <clears throat> With a living awareness, conscious activity, presence and superconscious samadhi <clears throat> of all enlightened beings liberated and ascended masters and hearing this light as it shines radiates and resonates within me as a visible pillar of the world effortlessly dissolving stabilized supported and sustained by the brilliant elegant one and infinitely sensitive to that invulnerable state of divine i am samadhi <clears throat> Let's do the om. Let's go ahead and take our hands. It's okay. We don't have to repeat it. I have some right here. <coughs> take the hands and rub them together. When we put up our hands, we're energizing our hands. Elliot does this too. She says, rub your hands together. She says, put your hands on the back of your neck. Put your hands on your head. You know, and energize all these different parts of your body. And then hold up the hands and say, Eternity is my home. I do all that is necessary to actualize this ever-fresh realization and organize my life around it. Eternity is my home. I do all that is necessary to actualize this ever-fresh realization and organize my life around it. Eternity is my home. I do all that is necessary to actualize this ever-fresh realization and organize my life around it. And that's what you look like when you're you're flushing out the Wei Qi in your body. This energy flows around you, and if you could see the light around you, it's great. These mantras, as you say these words, it's like you can see the, the, the auric field around you flashing and shifting and changing because you're saying words that have power. You can say Om, you can say light, you can say joy, you can say wisdom. Each of those words brings power to your auric field. And so as you say the words, you can, if you could see the light, you look like a flame dancing, changing blue, green, purple, yellow, gold, flashing light and radiating this light like this image here, radiating a white light about you. It's very important that we keep this light strong, especially today with what's going on in the world. We need this light. We need the strengthening. Otherwise, the density of the world, the trouble of the world will take us and drag us down. So please be consistent with these mantras. Be consistent with these, these words. And if you have others that mean more to you, mean something to you, I encourage you, do them. 
Even if you don't do samadhi game, if you have mantras, if you have a mantra that says, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, or Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, or Jesus help me, Jesus help me, Jesus help me, whatever it is, just keep those, those words spinning. And that you will get the assistance, you will get the help that you need. So let's go do heartfelt, tangible samadhi. This mantra is, <clears throat> I don't have the page number here, I think it's page 17 of the manifesto. Heartfelt, tangible samadhi. O great spirit, O mighty I am samadhi at the center of all creation. Radiant with illuminating fire, O heartfelt parent of all sons and sons, pour forth that life-giving power and fan the spark of that divinity on the altar of my heart. Amplify and magnify this spark by the fire breath of the whole I spirit into the potent God frame that I am. O oh, the shimmering fountain of life that I hear, feel, smell, taste, and see within me. I choose this constant cascade of liquid light Activity receiving its shimmering directive radiance, tangibly and powerfully manifest in my experience. I open the innermost temple of love within this evident, ebullient, celestial, cosmic fire. I manifest that life and light for our healing and regeneration, letting the breath, height, fullness, and crown of the solar radiance of the sun behind the sun appear. I stand forth. Revealed in and through me is the neutral witness that Christos, Krishna, Buddha, Allah, Pharaoh, Monarch, Divine Mother, Father, Son, Conscious Awareness. I am the visible, audible, and tangible flame of eternal life, breathing the scintillating prana chi from the source to the root of my being. Liquid rays of light flooding my chakras, seated upon their lotus thrones of love, Molten gold of enlightenment, shivering its ascension up my spine, crowning my awareness with the diamond rays of attainment. As the white fire bean of my heart, I dynamically emanate and transmit this audible, tangible, fragrant, delectable, and visible substance of living samadhi as creativity and direction. I am a sun in the palace of the shining void, this temple a glistening world of infinite space, the process of my transformations, sounding the melodies, harmonies, and rhythms of the great solar symphony. I am the dazzling flame of life, here and now, because I am nowhere else but everywhere forever. I am Samadhi's palpable joy, tactile glory, and felt perfection of boundless being. I am that, I am that. I am this expansion of Samadhi game through my efforts and through my heart flame expanded now. And you could say whatever name it is for you. Gratitude. Sir Gratitude. In embodiment, in embodiment, in embodiment. I am oneness lived. Literally, I mean, you, you can if you want. You can go to the Catholic Church and you can go, you can even go to hear New Age uh, pulpit speakers uh, speaking great truths of enlightenment. I encourage us all to do that. Right? Go to the Catholic Church and hear, hear the sermons from the pulpit and go hear um, uh, um, Adya Shanti and. Uh, Go here, um, who, uh, who name some, but enlightened speakers. Go here, the 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 um, the Hindu gurus. Go hear them all; they will tell you great truth. But there has to be a practice. We have to practice the truth that we're hearing, and they're getting the most benefit, by the way, of telling you the truth. They're all because they've decided to say the truth and speak the truth they're speaking the truth and it's coming to pass for them because they're speaking it they're speaking it and we're just listening usually <coughs> let's go listen to you know x whoever it is and listen to him and listen to him and listen to him and you get and you, over and over again you listen to him and listen to him then you go home and you you listen to me think about the great concepts but if you say the great concepts 
if you say them as an affirmation of who you are, because that's what they're telling you. They're saying who you are. And you listen and you listen and you listen, but when you say who I am, this is who I am, and you start to believe who you are, this great being who you are, and you start to act like this great being who you are, it's much different. And Samadhi Game is that little link there. <laughs> I like trying to place Samadhi Game in, a, in, in perspective to what you're getting in this, in this world of enlightenment. What does it do? What's special with Samadhi Game? Why is it different? What does it have to offer that other paths don't? And I say what it is is this spoken word, this English mantra, this affirmation of being, these mandalas of light that you can speak for yourself rather than hearing someone speak them for you. <laughs> They're the ones that are saying the mantras and getting the effect of that mandala all over them. Let me speak the truth to you. I will just tell you all about who you are in your essence. And they'll get that benefit because they're speaking it. The pulpit, the, even, the, even the priest in the Catholic Church, he gets up there and he speaks what he knows of enlightenment and it becomes more real because